Hello and welcome to the Young Adult Ministries YouTube channel. Allow me to introduce you to a significant playlist. We are curating titled The Doctrine of Devils. Jesus conveyed a brief yet profound parable about leaven in Luke 13, 20 to 21, where he stated, and again he said, Where unto shall I liken the kingdom of God? It is like leaven which a woman took and hid in three measures of meal to the whole was leaven. Leaven in this context symbolizes sin corruption and defilement. In 1 Corinthians 5 verse 7, the apostle Paul urges the troubled church at Corinth saying, purge out therefore the old leaven that ye may be a new lump. As the people of God, it is crucial for us to purge out the old leaven from our lives and our churches. To achieve this understanding church history becomes paramount. Many false doctrines now known as orthodoxy and foundational beliefs such as the Trinity the celebration of Christmas and Easter and the Eucharist are all leaven hidden by the woman described in the book of Revelation as the whore of Babylon, the Catholic Church. Seekers and lovers of truth, you must notice the church of Acts 2 never died and never ceased to function. Further, it never digressed into lesser form. Specifically, it never became Greekized or Latinized, meaning it was never associated with Catholicism. Moreover, it was never in the hands of Martin Luther. Apostolic Christian doctrine has always been separate and apart from any other religion that would not have or hold acts to doctrinal tenets. From the book Apostolic History outlined by Marvin M. Arnold, Revelation 18 verses three to five says, for all nations have drunk of the wine of the wrath of her fornication and the kings of the earth have committed fornication with her and the merchants of the earth are waxed rich through the abundance of her delicacies. And I heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her, my people, that ye be not partakers of her sins and that ye receive not of her plagues. For her sins have reached unto heaven and God hath remembered her iniquities. The time has come for us to ponder. What is the wine that has intoxicated all nations? Who is she? And why is it imperative for us to separate from her? What are her plagues? God is calling his bride to repent, urging the removal of all traces of Jezebel and her corrupt doctrine. We must detach ourselves from the Babylon originated, Roman Catholic infused system that has brought plagues upon our houses. Repentance is necessary for partaking in the deeds of the Nicolaeans. It's disheartening when our churches resemble worldly systems more than the foundations laid by the apostles and acts. The evidence of our rebellion lies in the fruit or lack thereof. Failing to use God's gift of hindsight and introspection is an affront to him. And many works won't withstand the test of a trial by fire. God is cleansing his temple for what should have become a house of prayer has become a den of thieves and storage place for dead men's bones. Feel free to check out our first video in the playlist, The Apostles' Faith. Church history, we were never Catholic or Protestant. As God prepares his bride, let us take heed of Jesus' admonishment to the Laodicean church and repent while he knocks at our door.